So we have these uh, list of modules, right? Right now it's a hard-coded array in the component. What we'd like to be able to do is instead of you know having this be st a static array, instead you know find the modules for a particular uh, course, that particular course. Okay. Uh, now 5610, I believe that's a new um, a new course or 4500. That's a new course we just created. So presumably there are no modules for it. But we know there's a there's a there's a uh, API that allows us to retrieve the modules for a course, right? I believe it's uh this is the API. Uh, if we know the ID of a course, uh, we can add modules to that to that particular course. So let's let's add a couple of uh, uh, modules to this course over here. So what we'll do is that we're going to take out the 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 generic API. We'll bring it over to um, Postman, and we'll we're gonna create a couple of requests. And let's see, let's add a one that's gonna call. We're gonna call it a create module for course, and we'll add that. Uh, we'll save it. This um, it's this one right here. Uh, we're gonna this is going to be a post, and that's the URL. But the ID of the course is, we'll use this one for 4550, it's this one. We'll copy that. So that's the ID for the modules. And the modules, uh, we're gonna send over a uh, raw JSON data that's gonna have only the title for the for the module. So this will be a module, uh, we'll call it maybe, uh, so this is web dev, so there'll be a module on React, React.js, so we'll send module there okay uh, let's create another one uh, we'll, well, then we have an angular angular js we'll send that so it looks like that was successful and we'll create uh, one for node.js and uh, we'll uh, create one for mongo mongodb oops db and, okay, so they, these are all modules in the course. Uh, so once we've we've uh, we've created that, uh, we can make sure that we can retrieve that the modules. And these are all the modules we just created. Right? So they're there. All right, let's see if we can uh, retrieve them. Uh, so so to do that, right, uh, we're going to copy this URL. We'll copy the URL, and in the module list, right, in the module list component, right, instead of using this, this hard-coded uh, uh, set of modules, we're going to go fetch those, those modules from the server. So we'll do uh, fetch, and we'll use that URL. There it is. And it's going to come back with the, a response from the server, uh, which we're going to parse the JSON body. And this presumably, these are all the modules which we are going to use to populate my local modules. There we go. All right, so if we come back here, uh, notice that now we have a list of modules. See so that the list of modules that are coming from the server. If we go back, and notice that it's not dynamic. So if I go to a different course, notice that I still get the same, the same modules. Instead, I want to use the ID, the dynamic ID, Right, to fetch the modules for that particular course. Right now I'm getting always the same modules, right? For you know for the same because it's hard-coded. So let's let's make it dynamic. Let's parse this out. 